What is going on? This is the 2022 More Than Fishing Surf Perch Fishing Tournament, online tournament. We're fishing for $1,000. I think there's like 104 competitors, 108 competitors, something like that. Up and down the West Coast, all the way from Washington, all the way down to Southern California. And it's a team event. So I'm on a team with none other than Ish With Fish. And this is day one of the tournament. I just made it out to the beach. I planned on doing a pre-fishing, a video kind of documenting my pre-fishing adventure, but I went out to the coast and it was just totally blown out from this last rain that we had. We just had a basically the first big rain of the season and it was totally blown. I didn't even throw a cast. And today I was actually pleasantly surprised. It's looking a lot better. It was still, it's still a little blown out. You can tell the water clarity's off a little bit, but it's definitely fishable now. When I came out the other day, it was totally unfishable, which is why I didn't even make a video out of it. So, Normally for a tournament like this, I'd like to throw the Lucky Craft because I think it gives me the best chance of catching, you know, bigger fish. But because the conditions were so terrible, I think it's going to be hard just to catch fish, period. So my plan is to come out here and dunk some sand crabs. Uh, when I came out, there wasn't too many sand crabs out here, so that part might be tough. But found a couple. We'll work these for a little bit, see if, it, see if anything happens, and then we'll go from there. Well, this spot was a bust. Dunk some sand crabs in here for about an hour, and if you're not catching them in the first hour, it's likely that you're not gonna get them there. Definitely not gonna win the tournament at this spot, at least not today, so. Time to go do some exploring. All right, we're back. I checked out actually three other beaches and I didn't even fish any of them because they didn't look that great. So, we finally made it to one that I think there might be some fish at looking very fishy here and I'm switching up my approach here a little bit we're switching over to lucky craft just because I think I need to try and get some big fish I know I said earlier that it might be a grind but you know what? I'm just going for it I have comments in it oh no all right, well, that was quick. I don't think this is gonna be the move either. Look at how much grass and stuff is in the water. This is also from that last storm. Whenever there's a big rain, especially the first one of the season, it kind of flushes out all those rivers and all that stuff that built up over the summer. So the first one especially gets a bunch of junk out of the water. And I think this is just too close to the nearest river and so there's too much junk in the water here. All right, well, I thought this place might be it, but we're gonna have to move on. Try another spot. Beach number five, here we are. Honestly, I'm just looking for my first fish. Beach number six, this is gonna be the last one. Well, even if we don't catch a fish, we can't say we didn't try. Six beaches today. It's a little bit rougher than I would hope, but I think I can get one here. I'm feeling optimistic, cautiously optimistic. Oh, I had one. Oh, I had a bite. All right. I think that was the first real bite. I had some nibbles earlier at a previous beach, but that was the first time I had a, a respectable fish bite my lure. There we go. There's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. Oh, stay pin. Stay pin. Stay pin. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, not that great, but it is a fish. Eleven and three quarters, right there. Thanks for the fight, buddy. There he goes. All right, let's see if we can get out there. Come on, June. We got to get better tape measures than this. Look at this. One time in the sand, it already won't retract. Oh shoot, I forgot the <laughs> oh, no. oh, I forgot the 
forgot the keyword. Yikes, what a rookie move. All right, well, so there's a keyword every day that you have to say, that's just to prevent people from cheating. And unfortunately, I forgot the keyword there. But, I mean, that probably wasn't gonna win us the tournament anyways, but that one is not gonna count. Well, rough day today, but lucky for me, this is a three-day event, and it's a partner event. Ish with Fish, my partner, caught one today, so he waited in. We're on the board, but we're very, very far behind. So hopefully tomorrow's a new day. I'm gonna wake up bright and early. We're gonna put in a bit of good effort tomorrow morning, and hopefully we can turn it around. All right, day two, fishing code was just released. Today it's grateful. We gotta remember that. We can't forget that if we're submitting fish today. And today's a landmark day on the Dyard Fishing Channel. And why is that? Well, I'm not super proud to say it, but look at that right there. I think we're gonna use those today. Still don't know how I feel about it. I don't like this. I don't like it at all, but I'm doing it for the team. The rain is supposed to intensify as the day goes on. So today I'm traveling super light. All I got is my setup here. And that's it, pretty much. Got a couple extra batteries for the GoPro. I'm just working off straight GoPro today, so I don't know how good the audio is gonna be. I don't normally do it like this, but because it's gonna be so wet, I think this is what's gonna have to happen. But honestly, this water is looking prime. Prime for some big fish. And that's exactly what we need. So I gotta capitalize. You know what, before I even make a cast, I'm calling it. I'm gonna catch some fish today. Not to say I'm gonna win the tournament, but I'm gonna put in a respectable showing. All right, let's go do this. There we go. Oh yeah, it's on baby, it is on. It is on. First fish of the morning. First fish of the morning. This did not take long at all. This is probably like my fourth or fifth cast. Bingo. We're on the board. All right. Let's do this. We gotta be super quick about this today. Because the early morning bite is really where it's gonna be. Mouth on the zero there. Really down, almost 12 and a quarter, but not quite. I think this one's gonna end up being a 12 incher. Give it a little drink. Okay. So, all right, let's get it. It's on, ladies and gentlemen. It is on. I'm feeling it this morning. It's gonna happen. So I'm not gonna win the tournament with five fish that are 12 inches like that one, but that can definitely be. Some of my kicker fish to fill out the limit. I'm gonna need to catch at least one. That's like 15 inches, I think. And I think it definitely can happen this morning. I'm feeling confident. Oh, I missed one. Dang it. There we go. There's a, oh, that's a good one. That, oh yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. I was gonna say for a second that might be a striper, but it's definitely not. Definitely a perch. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, that's the one we needed. Yes. This one's got a gnarly scar on him. Got him right in the corner of the mouth there. Look at that one though. His gill plate's like missing. His gills are exposed. Got the fish on the zero there, all the way down. 15 and three quarters. Right on the dot. All right, let's get a release. 
This is a nice fish. Biggest perch I've caught in a little while. 15 three quarters. Grateful for you. There it goes. Look at that. Other way, dude. All right. Make sure it swam off. Yeah, we're good. All right, time to get another one. Sorry, this audio and video is probably not great, but it's starting to come down a little harder now. But luckily, the fish don't mind. The fish are already wet, so. I gotta catch a few more here. That was a good kicker right there, 15 and three quarters. But that's not gonna win the tournament by itself. All right, I think I gotta make a little move. It's tough to move from here because I caught those two fish, but it's been about, I don't know, at least an hour since my last bite and there's a little bit of grass that's moved in. So I'm gonna make one more cast here. Every cast I'm getting some on there. All right, quick move here. All right, quick little change. I'm really just fishing for one more fish just so to update you on the standing. I don't know if I said anything yesterday, but my partner, Ish with Fish, caught one yesterday and he caught another one this morning. His one yesterday was 12.75 and I think he caught another, I think it was a 12 incher today. So we have four total fish registered. Well, I haven't sent mine in yet, but I will. And um, so that means we just need one more to fill out a limit. Obviously we can keep upgrading after that, but really if we can get five in there, I think that'll be That'll put us in good shape. It'll at least put us in contention. I don't know if we're going to win with the five that we have, but we'll at least be, you know, have a respectable score. But it would be nice to get another one in there, another 15 incher. So hopefully, I can find one here. Not saying I like waders, but I will say they're keeping me warmer today than I would be without them. There we go, there we go. That's the one, that's the one we need. Stay pinned, stay pinned. That's the one we need. I don't think it's a huge one, but I think it's gonna be a, our limit fish. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, definitely not a huge one, but we're gonna register it. Oh, just kidding. I was about to measure and then I realized it's not even 11 inches. So we'll let him go. No need to register this one. Good sign though. Let's do some fish around. All right, tell your big brothers and sisters, come play. Off she goes. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, it just jumped. That's a good one. That's definitely gonna be a register. Registerable fish. Yes. Oh yeah. Nice. Got this tip nose to the zero. And then tail. Almost 13 and a half, but we'll say 13 and a quarter. This one's got a little bite out of its head. All right. Water going. Oh. All right. I think that's our fifth one. So with that one, I think we're up to like 66 inches, maybe a little bit over. So definitely a respectable score. However, I don't think we're going to win with 66 inches. I think we're going to have to get closer to 70. So I'm going to keep fishing for a little bit here. See if there's another fish willing to bite. And I really would love to get another 15 incher. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but those fish are few and far between but I'm gonna give it a shot here. We'll fish for another hour or two. See if we can get any more bites. That was a gnarly fish. That one had a 
big cut on its head from something. I don't know if it's from a seal or a bird or another fish. I'm not sure, but anyways. Now we're looking to upgrade. upgrade hopefully I think that'll be an upgrade looks like an upgrade yeah that's an upgrade nose on the zero tail on the tape 13 and a quarter. It's heating up. There we go. Ooh, that, that might be a good one. No, maybe not. It feels kind of small. Yeah. I don't think that's going to make it. Right now our smallest is 12.75. Yeah, that's not gonna make it. Oh, quick release. Oh yeah, here's another one. Oh, that's just a little guy. Look at that. That lure is almost as big as the fish. What were you thinking, dude? Look at that, it's like a couple inches bigger than the lure. I don't think it was enough to win, but at least we put in a good showing. Definitely way better than yesterday. I think I caught four registerable fish, or maybe five, and Ish caught a couple today as well, or one today, one yesterday. So we at least got a limit. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be enough to win, but maybe, just maybe we'll squeak in, we'll see. If not, I think we gave ourselves a good chance at least placing or doing, doing respectable. It was looking pretty bad yesterday, so. Anyways, like I said earlier, this is a three-day event. And this is day two, but tomorrow it's going to be supposed to be super rough. The swell's coming up big time. It's going to be rainy. I don't think it's going to be good. So I'm actually not going to fish tomorrow. I think some of the other areas like Central California, I don't know about Oregon, Washington, those areas might be fishable. So other people might be fishing, but for me, I don't think it's going to be worth it in the Bay Area. So also for this event, there's a live leaderboard and uh, you can kind of watch how other people are doing. So I'll be checking that periodically. I'll keep you guys updated all the way through to the end of the event. But that's it for fishing. I feel good that we caught some fish. Even if it's not enough to win, I, I feel a little bit better than I did yesterday. I'm sorry I didn't keep you guys updated last night. I went to an ugly sweater party. But it's now day three, the last day of the tournament. And so far, we're holding up in third place. So I'll give you guys a little screenshot of the leaderboard so far. So this is what we're looking at here. This is the live leaderboard. So right now we have Team No Name in first place. He put hurting on the fish just one guy by himself 73 and a half inches and then we have 805 underdogs this is martin mancera and ed hook to cook and they are in second place looks like they have one more submission here so they'll get bumped up to like 71 inches if this is a legit catch and then this is us this is me and ish right here every inch counts i do have the biggest fish of the tournament so i'm hanging on to that but uh, unfortunately we didn't have the same kickers that everyone else did. So we're at 68 and a quarter and neither of us fished today. So we're gonna be stuck at that. It's still possible that we could get passed up by some of these players. Submissions still can come in, but for now we're holding on, albeit by a slim margin to third place. All right, it's official. The submission deadline is now closed and here's how we finished up. First place, team no name, second place, Eight of five underdogs and third place, that's us. Every inch counts, Ish and I. We held up, there was a furious comeback here from Team Ramrods, 67 and a quarter inches, but we had him by one inch and that's why 
every inch counts. So this is the third time that the Surf Perch Tournament has been held by June, uh, aka More Than Fishing. The first time was an individual event. I think I got third place in that one. Third or second, I don't remember. Last year was the first time it was a team event. Ish and I got second last year. And this year, we got third. So we still haven't been able to crack the first place uh, trophy, but maybe next year. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.